Who does Paul Scholes think is Manchester United's worst signing of all time? The answer might surprise you. In a candid discussion, the Red Devils legend didn't hold back, calling out one player who, in his words, couldn't even kick a football. Let's dive into the details and see who tops Scholes' list of United's biggest transfer flops. Paul Scholes, a name synonymous with Manchester United's golden era, has seen it all, from the highs of winning 11 Premier League titles to the lows of watching his beloved club struggle in recent years. But when it comes to discussing the best and worst signings in the club's history, Scholes doesn't mince words. During a fan debate on the overlap, alongside ex-Liverpool star Jamie Carragher and journalist David Ornstein, Scholes was asked to reflect on Manchester United's most disappointing transfer. And his answer was as unexpected as it was revealing. The conversation began with a discussion of Manchester United's recent 3-0 thrashing at the hands of Liverpool, a match that had fans questioning the club's current roster. One fan even suggested that Anthony, the Brazilian winger who has struggled to make an impact since his £85 million move from Ajax, might be the worst signing in United's history. But Scholes had a different perspective, taking the conversation back to his own playing days. You know what, I was going to go a bit further back than that, Scholes began. While many might expect him to name a more recent player, Scholes instead pointed to the club's struggles in replacing legendary goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel after his departure in 1999. Scholes acknowledged that while Fabian Barthes was great, it was another goalkeeper who truly earned his ire, Mark Bosnick. Scholes didn't hold back in his critique of Bosnick, who joined United from Aston Villa in 1999. He came to us and was so unprofessional. Honestly, it was ridiculous, Scholes recalled. He went on to describe how Bosnick, despite being a solid keeper at Villa, failed to meet the standards expected at Old Trafford. According to Scholes, Bosnick's lack of fitness was glaringly obvious during training sessions. In shooting practice, you normally have like 15 to 20 minutes. After three shots he was knackered, Scholes said, clearly still baffled by the experience. But it wasn't just Bosnick's fitness that was a problem. Scholes dropped a bombshell, revealing that Bosnick couldn't even kick a football properly, a fundamental skill for any player, let alone a Premier League goalkeeper. I'd never seen anything like it, Scholes continued, recounting how the team realized during a game against Everton that Bosnick couldn't reach the halfway line with his kicks, even on a calm, windless day. The discussion then shifted back to recent signings, with Scholes acknowledging the disappointment surrounding big money moves like Alexis Sanchez and Anthony. While these transfers haven't lived up to expectations, for Scholes, the combination of unprofessionalism and sheer inability to perform under pressure makes Bosnick the worst signing in Manchester United's history. Scholes' brutal assessment was met with some humor from Jamie Carragher, who joked that Bosnick wouldn't take the criticism lying down. He'll be right on the socials, won't he? Carragher quipped, to which Scholes agreed, laughing that Bosnick would certainly have something to say in response. And that's a wrap for today's video. Who do you think is Manchester United's worst signing? Do you agree with Paul Scholes, or is there someone else who takes the top spot? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights from AU News. We'll see you next time.